start off by just explaining to us what your business model is, how you're an alternative to the likes of DoorDash as we look at its upcoming IPO and also often a partner to DoorDash. Yes. <clears throat> Thanks for having me on, Julia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we, we started the company about 10 years ago because what we witnessed back then are small independent restaurants were having a, a very difficult time getting online. Uh, and the big national chains, the Domino's, the Panera's, we're all building tech, mobile apps, online ordering in-house. And, and if you're a small independent pizzeria or taco shop or cafe, you basically didn't have an option to get online other than using a marketplace that was going to take a very large uh, cut of every order. And so we created a platform that allowed any restaurant anywhere in the country to get online uh, with our own tools. We don't take a commission. We just charge a flat monthly fee for the software. And today we have about 20,000 restaurants across the U.S. and Canada now using our software. Well, there's been a lot of talk that DoorDash's fees, 30 percent for restaurants, are just more than restaurants can handle, especially right now. How are you helping uh, restaurants get around these fees uh, if they want to? And is that even possible when there are so many constraints on restaurants and, and the challenges of, of delivering food in a pandemic? Yes. Yeah, so, so we've always been an alternative to the marketplace model. Uh, that, that's what we set out to do when we launched in 2012. And, and it's very much what we do today. Uh, and today it's more important than ever because of COVID. And so uh, we allow restaurants to take control of their own business. Uh, and so they don't have to be reliant on Grubhub uh, or any other marketplace, DoorDash, et cetera. Uh, and so when they have their own tools, when they take order on their website, when they have their own branded apps, when they have their own loyalty system, they're less reliant on any marketplace. And so we, we often make the comparison uh, to the airline industry where you have someone like Southwest. And so Southwest says, if, if you want to buy tickets from us, you, if you want to fly Southwest, you have to come directly to us. You have to go to either on our apps or on our website to buy those tickets. Uh, and that's a better deal for you. It allows us to offer better, uh, a better service to you at, at a better cost. Uh, and so we have a lot of restaurants that take that approach, that only use our software, that tell their customers, if you want to order from us, just go on our website, go on our app, uh, chat up, how is that behind the scenes? And that way they don't have to give up a, a commission. Uh, but then you have the American Airlines or the uh, the Delta approach, and they say, well, you know, I'd prefer you to come direct to us to buy your, your next ticket. Uh, however, if you want to go on Expedia or ever, uh, any of the online travel agencies, you can do that as well. Uh, and so we have roughly half of restaurants taking that approach. And, and these days, restaurants need every dollar they can get. And so what we find is, is often these days, restaurants are looking uh, and, and listing kind of anywhere they can online to, to get orders. And so that means using Chanow and then also using the marketplace in addition to that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.